All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Review by Projects. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we're going to be covering the next installment of the Call of Duty series, the Call of Duty World War II, returning back to its original form of Call of Duty. Well, yeah, pretty much original. So, how does it compare to the old ones? The new ones? Well, let's just get into it and see. So, Call of Duty World War II is a newer rendition of the older games. They went back to the classics. After the modernized Call of Duties, the developers decided it's time to go back to the classics. Um, but does it compare as well to the older ones? Well, in my opinion, the older ones are a classic, so kind of nothing can... Well, it can compare to them, but nothing's gonna beat them just because we all used to play them as kids. Um, and they were amazing. But the new adaptation of the World War II is pretty amazing, actually, with the single-player, multiplayer, and the zombie mode as well. Um, the six-hour-long campaign, it's about six hours, something like that, is a great new way. Um, it's kind of a new, fresh look on the Call of Duty World War II series. Um, it's kind of fast-paced, and you are likely going to have to depend on your team. Um, if we compare it to the ones that came before, the Advanced and the Infant Warfare, you're not going to have armor, you're not going to have like exoskeletons and stuff, and you're back to being just a human in World War II. The drama and everything make it even better. Just because it has more of, how should we call it, a dramatic story than the modernized ones. Um, it puts you in the shoes of a World War II soldier with a team of people who are going to be helping you throughout the game. Um, you're not self-dependent. You have to depend on them for additional, how should we call them, power-ups, um, like airstrikes and stuff, to pretty much get through the campaign. Some of the missions are really amazing, while the other ones can be a bit of a drag. Especially the sniping and the sneaking missions can be a bit slow-paced and painful to go through, but you're going to have to get through them either way if you want to complete the campaign. Um, but all in all, there's not a lot of those missions, and it's going to be a fun experience getting back into the boots of a World War II soldier. Um, how does the multiplayer compare? The multiplayer is actually really good. I mean, putting you back into the World War II scenario instead of something modernistic and futuristic is a great refreshment. It has the classic Call of Duty multiplayer style, but it wasn't bad to begin with, so it's pretty much amazing still. Um, you've got new enemies, and you have to fight other Call of Duty players, which can sometimes be a pain because we know how Call of Duty players can be. Um, the zombie mode, the zombie mode is actually really cool. Um, a lot of newer Call of Duty installments have featured the zombie mode in their game just because it was a fun thing to play with your friends, with people online, and with other people as well. Um, the zombie mode is really amazing since you get to fight Nazi zombies again, which is really cool. But again, you have to do it with a team. Frantically running around and killing zombies, shooting them is not going to get you... Um, it's not going to get you far. You really have to communicate with your team um, and get the power-ups. The power-ups can sometimes sometimes be a bit overpowered, but they're gonna feel cool once you get them. You're gonna be you're gonna get better at the game and everything, and it's gonna get even more fun. So the zombie mode is probably again one of the better modes of Call of Duty. They haven't failed with the campaign. The campaign is amazing, and the multiplayer is cool as well. So, all in all, I'm going to recommend this game to all of you Call of Duty fans, all of you FPS fans. It's a great game to play. It's a modernistic look to on the, well, on the older Call of Duty installments. And, it, and they did it properly. I'm not going to say they did it like really well, because it still feels like it's missing some things, but it's still amazing. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next review.